Good afternoon, and welcome to the Central National Jersey Show. We're getting started here with our spring calves in the class, starting the show today. And we'll take a moment and introduce our judge. Our lead judge is Kelly Barbie. He and his wife, Sherilyn, and children, Emily and Ryan, own and operate DeBear Genetics, an elite herd of 20 Holsteins and Jerseys. With an appreciation for good type and sound pedigrees, they have bought, sold, and owned numerous Jersey and Holstein All-Americans. Barbie also serves as herd manager for Osborne Farm, a new 100-cow dairy operation located in Midland, North Carolina. Barbie has judged many shows at the county, district, and state levels, and most recently served as the official judge of the Pennsylvania and Maryland state spring shows. He was the associate judge of the 2009 World Dairy Expo Central National Jersey Show and judged the Royal Winter Fair Jersey Futurity. Let's have a round of applause and welcome our judge, Kelly Barbie. Serving as his associate judge is Dennis Patrick. Patrick owns and operates Maple Dell Farm with his mother and father, David and Ann, brother and sister-in-law, Mike and Kathy, and his wife, Nancy, and their children, Caitlin and Derek. They own 250 acres and rent an additional 700 acres of cropland. The farm is home to 170 head of Holsteins and Ayrshires, and the family has twice exhibited the World Dairy Expo Grand Champion Ayrshire. Patrick's judging assignments have included 15 state shows, the International Holstein Show, the New York International Spring Show, the Pennsylvania All-American Jersey Show, the Jersey Jug in Louisville, and international shows in Argentina, Canada, and Japan. This will be Patrick's fourth time placing classes here at World Dairy Expo. In 1997, he served as the associate judge of the Holstein Show, and in 2001, he judged the Ayrshire Show, and in 2002, he served as the official judge of the Brown Swiss Show. Let's have a round of applause in welcoming our associate Jersey judge, Dennis Patrick. Placings are complete in the Ayrshire six-year and older cow class. Would the following juniors please step forward? Placing second, entry 609, Ski Pal Spiritual Myrtle, exhibited by David and Robin Koss of Epworth, Iowa. First place junior, entry 608, Stillmore Laro Isabella, exhibited by Mitchell Lexfold of Kenyon, Minnesota. Placing third in the class, and also the production award winner and first bred known, Entry 602, Palmyra Romeo Rosie, exhibited by Evan Creek of Hagerstown, Maryland. Placing second in the class, entry 613, Black Adder Olympic Model, exhibited by Terrace Bank Farms Incorporated, Howick, Quebec. And the winning entry and best utter, entry 606, Yellow Briar Jerica, exhibited by Marilyn Stevens of Troy, Ontario. Congratulations. Judge your comments. A really nice class of mature cows, and we thought the cow, the one that done, did so on the fact that she just spells balance from end to end. She's beautiful in her front end. She's long and lean in her neck, shows a bunch of breed character about the head, and then travels out on a great set of feet and legs, and that's what takes her over the massive cow that we have in second. The cow in second place is a 10-year-old cow. You could fit a whole uh, hay wagon in, the, in her midsection, and you love that about her but just not quite the quality in the udder. We made the first cow best udder, a little more definition of having when you view them from the rear that we have in, in the cow that's right ahead of her. 
She goes over the cow right behind her, the second cow over the third cow on that mass that she has. She's just wider throughout her rib structure and she's wider in the rear udder than a lovely, lovely dairy cow, the production winner in the class that's in third place. She goes over the, the cow and forth on the advantage of that dairy rib. She's just longer in her rib. She's got a much more desirable angle to her rib and a wider rib than the long bodied white cow that we have in fourth. Four over five uses her beautiful, beautiful mammary system, a little more snug in her udder, a little more youthful in her udder than the big tall cow that's in fifth place. Really nice class of cows, a beautiful balanced cow that wins the class.